Hello everyone, welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms with the Rule of Might mod and a couple of sub mods, including the Warrior sub mod, which, uh, which will make it more difficult. And um, I've got the campaign on very hard, very hard, so I'm hoping for uh, for a good challenge. I'm obviously playing as Kong Rong. In the last video, we just set things up and took our first settlement, defeated the Yellow Turban army there. And uh, yeah, now we need to deal with the with the aftermath of that battle so the first thing i want to do is look at whether we've got anybody who would be a suitable administrator how about um she -yi? might be uh murdering the uh the, the pronunciation there um but um we're just gonna have to deal with that, I'm afraid, guys. No offences intended. Yeah, might be, might be an okay administrator. Let's um, let's have a look. Um, not assignments. Let's go into our court. Oh right, so we don't have, we don't have any uh, places for administrators yet. Okay, so we do have a position for a chancellor. Anybody? Would he be a good chancellor? So more income from the peasantry, fifteen percent more income from the peasantry, but plus two hundred and fifty in terms of his um, his salary, and he's not going to get on with everybody either. So let's have a look at the treasury tab. Our income, uh, two hundred and forty from the peasantry. So <laughs> you know his his increase in salary is more than our total income from the peasantry anyway right now so let's not uh, let's not rush to do that in terms of increasing uh, our um, our income then we should invest in uh, the economy by building buildings um, let's just have a quick look at the army first so uh, we can't recruit this turn anyway fine okay so we do need to be investing so what have we got here we've got a livestock farm and um, then we've got the option of um, a vigilante post. So that gives plus two public order and slows down enemy armies. Or farm gardens, which give more income from the peasantry and add reserves. So yeah, that's what I want to go with there. And okay, that's that's the only thing we can do this turn uh, in terms of the building. Kong Rong, let's have a look. Followers, we've got... Um, a Confucian Sage, um, so that's more public order for the administered commandery. Well, he's not administering a commandery at the moment. And uh, an officer who allows a circle and hollowed square formations, as well as unlocking the military requisition assignment. Can't say I'm too excited about either of those. And these ancillaries give satisfaction, so Kong Rong doesn't need satisfaction because he's... Um, head of the faction. So let us... Oh yeah, we do actually need to choose an upgrade for them, though. So in um, the Rule of Might, there's now um, additional skills at the at the bottom here. And I think Kong Rong has got more, because he's uh, obviously an important character. So um, yeah, this one more cunning and unlocks metal units. Uh, more morale when defending, and uh, more cunning. Minus five satisfaction, faction wise. So that's quite um, that's quite bad. What else have we got then? So precision plus ten percent uh, range firing rate plus five missile range. That could be very useful. More income from industry from an administered commandery. Well, he's not administering a commandery. More food production, uh, wall and settlement damage. That could be useful, but I think we're going to have to go with precision. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's just the chancellor they want us to appoint, but I just don't see it being, uh, you know, any sort of profitable uh, sort of exchange at the moment. Let's uh, let's end this turn. So yeah, we got those farm gardens built very quickly, which is good. And uh, yeah, 
So are we actually at war with the Han? Let's have a little look at diplomacy. So we're not actually at war with the Han Empire yet, but we're gonna be. The question then is do we move to Lian? Um, Hang is, uh, has also got part of the province. Um, well, I really want to be grabbing Han territory. Let's have a look at what we can do in terms of recruiting. Oh yeah, he's got some nice... Um, yeah, some crossbow cavalry. And uh, Han repeating crossbow, man. So he's got some nice missile units. Also, yeah. And these, yeah. So obviously, Kong Rong has got a great selection. Let's, um... I would like to take this. So yeah, there's a road there that we can uh, move along. Let's move to the border. Serve the people. And I think one of Kong Rong's um, abilities is that the crossbows are—they've uh, got a bit of a buff. So let's go with these uh, repeating crossbowmen. And here, let's get some more infantry. It's gonna, you know, it's really taxing our economy, but we've got to be aggressive. And um, uh, yeah, so this is giving us income from peasantry, and so are the pastures. So I think something like government support that again boosts the income from the peasantry hopefully will stack and um, help with the income side of things. So let's end this turn. Okay, so we've uh, grown our economy and we've been issued with a new mission to uh, increase the number of units in our army. So we can do that. Very much early game here with the early game missions. Now, Destroy we've got plenty of supplies. Obviously, our newly recruited troops are um, a bit diminished. Oh gosh, that's quite a good garrison. That's been modded. Hmm. Maybe, maybe if we come south and try this this fishing village, will be a uh, a softer break. target. Advancing. Um, we don't have much money, so I can't really do anything for now, so let's end the turn. Okay, so we've got a Han army trespassing in our territory, which I'm not very um, not very happy about. Um, let's declare... oh, actually, let's, uh, let's choose our reforms first. Regional commissioners, minus five recruitment costs. Well, we are going to be doing quite a lot of recruiting. So I'm just going to pick that one straight away, straight off the bat. Remain honest. And I want to declare war on the half. Time for discussion and contemplation. Yeah. We will crush your armies with well, ease. Well, I don't think so. So close that. And um, yes, 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 that's all fine. Ever and I want to go and take out this Han army. So we outnumber him significantly, and uh, so not a bad balance in his army of infantry and archers. But um, the problem with this is that it is delaying me taking taking more territory. I kind of feel like we need to be to grow our little controlled portion of China. Let's um, let's go with missile units in the front, spears behind them, to the melee infantry towards the flanks here, and here, and cavalry will put on the flanks as well. 
Actually, we'll put Kong Rong in the middle and split the cavalry like that. Now then, are they going to sit there? Looks like it, so let's um, create a group. I want everybody in that group. And uh, let's advance to uh, out of just out of missile range, and I'll um, prepare. There's no need to run, guys. There's no need to run. Right, I'll stop the video here, and then I'll resume it when um, when we're in range. Okay, guys, we're just about to get into range. All I've done is bring the army down the down the hillside. Let's uh, let's soften up some of these troops. Conscripts. Now then, these uh, conscripts aren't uh, as as just shouted conscripts. Um, these G militia are too great. These uh, these spearmen can actually go into a shield wall. So let's put them into a shield wall to resist the charge. In the meantime, we'll just allow our archers and crossbowmen, repeating crossbowmen, to do some damage. The worry is the enemy cavalry may charge, particularly as these crossbowmen have a relatively short, short range. Might be a bit exposed, but look, let's um, let's give it a go. So they're using their repeat crossbows. They can dish out a lot of damage, but they are receiving missile damage, and you are getting a bit close now, guys, so pull, pull back for a minute. You switch your focus to the enemy archers. Yeah, our crossbows will be getting, uh, you know, they're not, uh, they're not on the winning end of that little exchange. Our success looms large. But I think we have now annoyed the enemy enough to sort of pull him out of position. Let's advance. See the uh, our missile units exchanging volleys. God, these uh, these repeating crossbows. Uh, when they fire, they, they really do fire. Ready. Strike. Attention. Look, the enemy run. Craven. I think we should perhaps uh, oh, we'll take them off quite well, but let's go and let's try and get rid of that unit of archers. You guys halt. You guys get involved with the melee. Keep moving up. Keep the cavalry going. Kong Rong, you get in here to inspire these troops. So this unit of archers is low on ammunition now. Maybe that is the. Um, that is the balancing side of things, is to um, make sure they don't have too much ammunition. But you can see from the field beyond the melee, the, uh, the amount of uh, casualties that have been inflicted. Let's uh, stop these guys. And... Uh, Hit this buff, but it's not going to do much. In fact, stop, stop firing, guys. You, you will be doing friendly. Friendly fire. We don't want that. Broken. So this melee has been going on for a little while. That's nice to see. Saber infantry. We do have some spare troops here, but they're going to break shortly anyway, so I don't think there'll be much to gain in manoeuvring. Yeah, they're broken now, so let's uh, bring these troops forward. Which 
we maybe shoot into the back of them? <laughs> uh, we can try. Let's, uh, let's come in for a close-up. Guys, shoot them. So these are the repeating crossbows. Which do, oh, which do a lot of damage, don't they? Oh, look at that. Low in and down. It's like, um, like a firing squad, really. They're delivering an execution. Uh, I think we're actually shooting beyond a little bit, though. But the enemy is now there. I've broken everything. The enemy warriors are running. Ah. So I think it is just their um, their commander left. So let's go and uh, let's bring our cavalry all of it back to take care of him. Quite the melee. Oh, oh, just doing it. She took him down, he just jabbed him in the face with a lance. The enemy warriors There's the commander. <laughs> trying to trying to flee. get away is the question. Can't imagine Kong Wong's going to be happy if he does. Okay, victory. The people's voice cannot Okay, so we lost less than 300, he lost over a thousand. Let us... Let us recruit, we do have a few units that could do with replenishment. And can we Remain now sure. move? No, he's just out of our range. Okay, that's a bit uh, frustrating, but uh, we will deal with it and then return. We would not need fear us. So Liu Bei would like a non-aggression pact if we give him the Confucian Sage. Ooh, more authority, more cunning. No, I've got to reject that. I think Liu Bei has got enough to be dealing with in the early part of the campaign. I'm just wondering whether Kong Rong actually would benefit from that sage. Um, whilst he won't benefit from the commandery, sort of uh, buff, it will benefit him. Sprout ever hmm. upwards to so, uh, heaven. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. Oh, we seem to have got a new, pop, a new, uh, so labor recruiter, yeah, new follower. But yeah, let's um, let's go with the Confucian Sage then. And um, you grant me a kindness in let's, calling. Uh, close this tab and we'll have a look at uh, our fellow generals. And let's, um, yeah, let's give him. The stone monkey. How and this chap, we will give the uh, the stone pig, just to help buff their their satisfaction. China is and people. let's see whether we can Not just go and take care of that uh, that army. No, he's still out of our range. Oh bugger! Oh well. <coughs> Excuse me. Should we upgrade? Uh, so this is a drifter farming camp. So. Um, Improves the income from the peasantry, and this is a uh, you know an improvement on that uh, farm labourer camp. So yeah, let's let's do that, and end this turn. Okay, so this Han army has moved northwest. I really cannot be um, spending all my time chasing him down. So what I'm going to do now is move. Um, let's have a look. What's the 
What's the garrison like here? Yeah, I don't think we can tell yet, can we? Oh yes, we can. So that's a, that's a more manageable garrison. Let's, uh, yeah, let's come down here and besiege. Uh, can we reach there yet? No, we can't yet. That's a bit annoying. Can we slip back into our own territory? Yeah. And uh, I'm not really going to have very many recruitment options. Because our treasury is pretty low. We could recruit some... So that we may learn uh, they're lives. not that good though, are they? The old saber infantry. No, look, we'll leave that. We'll save our money for some economic investment. And um, end this turn. So the Han army is still in our territory, but not really doing very much. And um, yeah, okay, that really, there's no real issues there. Herdsmen, so more resolve and um, allows a wedge formation. So let's bring Destroy our troops corruption. down here. Cross them, and um, we will need to. to Build some siege equipment. Um, yeah, we'll go with a ram and a siege tower. Get these men up on the walls. Yeah, so continue. Shout fury! And we've got uh, reform we can unlock. So we went down the military route last time. Do we continue to do so? Um. Hmm, we really could do with more money, couldn't we? So, um, oh, income from the peasantry, plus 15. Yeah, definitely, we'll have that. Close that. So at the moment we haven't really got uh, much of an economy behind us. Let's end this turn. Okay, that uh, bandit army buggered off. Up north, and the siege continues. To battle. We're obviously uh, losing supplies. We're going to lose uh, minus fifty-four, which uh, which is which is good. Um, that was one of the things in my last playthrough with the Beneath the Red Sky mod, which which can't be criticised because I don't believe it um, alters any of the campaign functions. But supplies were just, you know, they were just irrelevant. I never really felt like um, they were important, other than for the bandits in terms Focus of um, administering way. the spoils, but um, yeah, it was a bit of, you know, the playthrough was a bit too easy. Now then, low satisfaction is is causing us some issues, so is there uh, is there anything we can do? So she, ye, is, yeah, is lack of purpose. Um, so I'm just thinking that actually Whilst it's gonna cost me, um, I think I think we've just got to do that just to to improve him. He's 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 friends with old Kong Rong, so that's that's quite good. And um, Kong Rong, I'm just looking at him. He is not married. For honor. What is a young China man like him not its oppressive going about without being uh, without being married? People will talk. Hmm. No. Hmm. Just having a look. Can we not seek a spouse? There we go. Seek a spouse down here. But it costs money. Who would have thought women would be interested in money? True. Two arms. So we need to wait for one more turn, and then we'll get that siege tower. Let's continue the siege. For the people! And uh, so public order is increasing here. Yeah, okay. Keep this moving turn. again. Spreading illness. Um, yeah, we'll send some medicine, although it's going to cost us because, um, you know, we're about to assault the city, so we don't really need the attrition 
got a clay cup, so um, more authority and more satisfaction. She, ye, you are you're in a right a grump, even though I've made you made you chancellor. What's what's your problem? You've now got purpose. Your purpose is to be my chancellor. Anyway, we'll give you this clay cup, and maybe that will improve your um, your outlook. And um, we could dish out some titles, but I don't really have the money to be splashing that kind of cash. Anyway, I'm going to draw the video to an end here, because in the next video we will um, we will assault the city. I hope you've enjoyed the the gameplay, and if you have, uh, please do like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments at all, either on the gameplay or my delivery, please uh, please do put them in the old YouTube comments box as they're all very welcome. Thanks very much guys.